Well, moisture levels have really increased across Southeast Texas. Really tell the feel in the air today compared to yesterday, and it was much warmer this morning. No more 50s for lows. We had 60s near 70 for lows this morning. Right now we're at 82 degrees. Our roofing 911 SkyCam network showing partly cloudy skies. The showers we had over the north side of Beaumont have now weakened, but we'll have another chance coming up of a few scattered storms late tonight into tomorrow morning. Rain chances after about daybreak tomorrow look pretty slim for tomorrow and Friday. Just a slight chance Saturday. And this is a weak front coming in late tonight, so it'll cool off just for one night tomorrow night, and that's it. Your humidity is right back for the weekend, but the rain chances looking much, much better now for Sunday into Monday. Could see some one to two inch rains as the next stronger cold front moves in and upper level disturbance. Now rainfall totals expected tonight. Not real impressive. We do expect a few storms though to work in from the north after around four or five o'clock in the morning along that weak front. But you can see totals will be well less than an inch of rain. We do have a moisture though to support the showers and thunderstorms later tonight. Precipital waters, amount of moisture in the atmosphere, pretty good, about 1.6 to 1.7. Notice the drying though tomorrow afternoon. So we expect a dry day tomorrow and on Friday before the humidity comes right back over the weekend. We have light southerly winds right now. Could see some patchy fog early tonight ahead of the front, which will be in, as we said, close to daybreak. And by the, you know, by the way, it's a pretty weak front. 84 down Beaumont, 87 Kirbyville. Waco got up to 100 degrees this afternoon, so the heat continues across much of Texas, though 70s up in the Texas Panhandle. And there's our front for late tonight, just south of Dallas. See a couple of thunderstorms developing there along that. So we'll have about a 40, maybe 50% coverage of storms in our forecast late tonight after about four o'clock or so. So don't be shocked in the morning if you hear a rumble of thunder and get a quick brief shower. Of course, Tropical Storm Carl in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Good news here. He's headed southward back into Mexico. So that's great news. I think we're pretty much done with the tropics in our part of the world. That's great. Now temperatures tonight still pretty warm. It's going to be a warm, humid night ahead of the cold front, but at least there's a chance of rain late tonight. You see those storms trying to work down from the north 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Some folks will get lucky and get a little bit of rain. Then we'll dry out through the morning. The afternoon looks quiet with temperatures well into the 80s. So it's going to be a warm day, even though we'll be behind the cold front coming up tomorrow afternoon. Looking pretty good as we head into tomorrow night. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler. We'll see lows around 60 coming up briefly just for Friday morning. Now, our rain and big shot of cooler weather for next week lies in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Big ridge developing in northwest Canada, a trough developing in the central half of the country. That's going to allow that cold air to spill southward. And here's our rainmaker for Sunday and Monday at upper low we showed you yesterday around Los Angeles. So this is great news because that's going to move eastward and give us those rain chances coming up early next week, followed by some pretty cool weather. In fact, lows in the 40s expected next Wednesday and Thursday morning. Your marine forecast will see seas two to three feet. Uh, northeast to east winds up to about 15 knots. Water temperature 78 in the Gulf. Tonight, not much rain this evening, but after around three or four o'clock, look for some scattered storms. About 40% of the area seeing a storm in the morning. Lows will be near 70. Tomorrow after about daybreak, it looks quiet. A warm day though. High still in the upper 80s, some mid 80s. In the triangle 10 day forecast, it looks dry tomorrow. It looks dry Friday, a little bit cooler behind this front Friday morning, but briefly notice how it warms right back up into the weekend. Slight chance of rain there Saturday. Best chance of rain we've had in a long time coming up Sunday and Monday. Look for a 50 to 60% coverage, but the big weather story, of course, besides the good chance of rain is look at those temperatures. We're talking 40s for lows. Wednesday and Thursday morning. That sounds amazing. So we can thank the LA area for that. Then. <laughs> yeah, that area of low pressure near mm -hmm. Los Angeles going to give us the rains we needed. Won't be enough, but it certainly helped early next week. Yeah, real fall Texas. Right. I love it. All right.